Before we move on to our next video on batching our entire workflow, I wanted to have a uh, brief video in between the, the mapping and the batching to just cover some concepts on the batching or why we're, we're doing this um, iterate, collect, and distribute batching rather than the batching that you always see when you select a workflow. So for this example, I'm going to use a very simplified workflow. I'm going to go back to step three, where we just had the um, reads coming in, the QC, trimming the reads, and then mapping them to the reference. And I've modified this workflow, um, removed the QC step. And what we have here is um, the reads coming in, we're trimming, we're mapping to the reference, we have the reference coming in, and we're outputting a mapping report, and we're outputting um, the mapping track. So if we go and run this, and you can see down here we have this function called batching now. I think up until this point we've only been looking at uh, reads individually. And so you can run uh, multiple specimens at once, right? And we could say batch and we can push them all over and run all three at once to this workflow. And we go here. Just like we've seen before, specified folder. <clears throat> and we'll put these results into Let's call this uh, pre-batch-1 and finish. Now this will take a few seconds, so I'll pause here and then come right back when it's done. Okay, that didn't take too long. So let's take a look at the results from that. And here, pre-batch-1. So what we get here is an individual track for each specimen. So if we want to, to screen through our specimens, um, you know, we have to open them up one after the other. So we sit here and we wait for this one to load. And we have our mapping track. Now, if we wanted to compare this one to the next one, you know, we, we'd have to load them both and go back and forth. Now, you could also use another tool um, called Create Track List right here. And, you know, if we use this tool, we can input the track lists into this tool and combine them in one track list. But the way that we have our workflow set up right now, um, we can't do that for our create track list. It'll do it individually for each specimen and we'll still end up with our separate track list. And what we really want is our workflow to, uh, go back to this one, what we really want is our workflow to take each of these uh, mapping track outputs and combine them into one list, okay? And the way we do that is with the iterate function and the collect and distribute. So the first one, let's go up here and look at iterate. Let me go over here, add an element. We want to iterate and why this iterate element and the other thing we're going to need is a collect and distribute element. So here's collect and distribute. And these are pretty straightforward. So what we want to do is instead of choosing that batch um, checkbox in the workflow, we want to iterate over our specimens with the intent of collecting the outputs at the end into one file. So what I've done is insert in the iterate function here, okay? And then for the collect and distribute, I want to collect all these read tracks. And this can also be done for the mapping reports, but right now we're just going to show it for the read tracks. And then we want to insert our element, uh, create track list. So the output here will go to create track, create track list, and this will become a workflow output. And we will put this, we will um, let's see, I think we did a track and we'll call this instead of using the input, we'll just call this combined track list finish and now we have this uh, new workflow where we're going to iterate and then collect and distribute these tracks to make a track list within our workflow and let me just double check 
Um, okay, no configuration. Oh, and it says that this must also be a workflow output, so we'll, um, uh, let's see. We need to um, have a little step here where we uh, have this be a workflow output. And let's put this into the same, this one we'll call track and we'll use um, mapping track finish. Okay, so let's save this and let's rerun this um, analysis again. So run and instead of selecting batch here, we're going to leave batch unchecked and we'll go into our reads and we'll select those first three sets of reads and everything else looks pretty much the same and we'll call this uh, pre-batch 2 and let this run for a few minutes now that that's finished let's look at the difference in the two sets of results okay let's remove this from last time okay so the first time that we ran this we didn't have the collect and distribute in there and the behavior was we ended up with three individual mapping tracks now that we put in this iterate and collect and distribute um, elements in this workflow you could see we still get the mapping track output which is which is this right here okay but what we have done is the collect and distribute function has taken all three of these mapping tracks and made a track list out of it using this function right here and creating the output combined track list so if we open up combined track list now we can see that we have the results from all three of these specimens in one track list for viewing and comparing against multiple samples and this is our desired behavior when you're creating a workflow that is going to take an entire run say of um, SARS-CoV-2 sequencing specimens and looking at the results and decide and looking at QC and maybe troubleshooting or looking at ways that you can improve your protocol this is the des desired behaviors that you want all your data in one view all your tracks um, in one list in one view okay so now I'll in the next video I'll go in and show how this iterate and distribute gets inserted into the full workflow that we have right now.